So I want to welcome Enrico Palermo back to uh, Chisholm College. Welcome, Enrico. Thanks for coming in today with your family. Um, it's been a long time since you were here. Uh, maybe tell us a little bit about uh, your time at Chisholm College. When did you graduate? Um, and what, what sort of subjects were you doing when you were here? Okay. Well, thanks, Mr. Shannon. It's great to reconnect after all these years. It is. It's, uh, and thanks for the tour this morning. It's incredible yeah. how the school has grown yeah. and the, the, the campus and the facilities. You know, to, yeah. to be a student today would be pretty exciting, I think, with, with all that you have to offer. But I graduated in 96, 1996, mm -hmm. uh, with my wife, Nadia. She studied here as well. Yeah, right. We got married uh, in uh, 2005. Right. But, um, we, uh, so we finished up at the Wood Street campus uh, yeah. when we graduated. And so, yeah, final year I studied uh, chemistry, physics, uh, English literature, mm -hmm. Italian, and I'm missing one, I think, it says five, six, but th that was sort of the main... The main ones, yeah. The yep. main, main threads yeah. uh, that, uh, that I pursued. And I mean, one of the things we noticed when you walked in today is your name is displayed <laughs> on just about every honour board there can possibly be. <laughs> so it's fair to say you made the most of your time here, and I, I remember that really well, that that's exactly what you were doing. You were making the most of the opportunities. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm really interested in, maybe you could tell us, what, what were the strategies that you employed to become successful at school and to make the most out of it? What sorts of things were you trying to do and achieve? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know if I necessarily had like a, a strategy that... A grand uh, plan. A grand, a gra a grand <laughs> plan. I uh, love to learn. Yep. And so that, that was sort of something that, that sort of helped, helped a lot mm -hmm. along the way. I think just, you know, a good... A good focus, but also mix in like studies with sport. Yeah, right. I played soccer. Yep. I did debating. I was in the debating right class as well. Yep. And and I found those sort of opportunities sort of rounded the experience uh, yeah. of, of learning. Um, you know, had a had a passion for you know, physics. I had a great teacher, uh, <laughs> chemistry, uh, and yeah, it, I, I I can't sort of pick one single strategy that worked. But um, reading, applying yourselves, but but also. Having those breaks with soccer and other things. How would you say Chisholm's helped form you as a person? Because we are trying to educate the whole person. So, how do you think Chisholm helped help you do that? Yeah, I think uh, one, I'm, I'm you know being sincere. I think that the teachers played a, a, a big, big part of that, and not just you know working out how to apply the lessons learned or the, the teachings to like the real life applications yeah. right? and, and even into my career and, and through my college uh, my university studies is is sort of how do you apply what you're learning to the real world yeah. right? so it's not just academic and I think, I think the school did a, did a lot to, to help with that and, you know, in, the, in the early years of Chisholm I did, you know, did you know, woodworking and, and economics yeah, right. and music yep. actually one of, the, one of the classes that you know believe it or not this really helped was typewriting right and oh, just because yeah. you know, <laughs> Yeah, you know, just yeah, you know, simple skills like that actually all, all come together to, to be very helpful to round out round out skills. And I mean, I was, you were saying earlier, you know, um, when you were studying your double degree at mm -hmm. UWA, one of the things that said is you wanted to you wanted to end up leading a team. Yep. that's what you really wanted to do. And this is actually what you're doing now. Yeah, it's uh, you know, I, I'm I'm a good designer, but you know, there's there's better designers than, than me out there, and I felt. My strength was more in uh, organising teams, yeah. leading teams, yeah. um, getting teams behind a purpose and a, and a mission. Let's finish off with one thing, because um, you know you, you're an alumni of this college, um, and you know there are hundreds thousands of alumni but we've got hundreds of students here um, what's a message you'd like to give to them I would say follow your dreams follow yeah. your passions yeah. you know, find the things that you you know you, know, you want to do every day yeah. right and it doesn't have to be you know building a spaceship and building a spaceship company it can be uh, things that ultimately make you happy do what makes you happy do what um, you're passionate about I think you know take some calculated risks yeah. you know you, you sort of create your own luck that's fantastic, man. Yeah. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank you. Good one.